Hi, I'm Julie McCaffrey from the Chicago Botanic Garden, and if you're interested in learning how energy-efficient buildings are created, you'll want to watch our behind-the-scenes tour with Bill Brown, who oversees architectural planning at the garden. Well, this is the main place that the public would come into the building, obviously a very beautiful, dramatic space. Our architect called it the Cathedral of Science. certainly looks like a nave of a Gothic church, so that's, uh, that's a good thing. But in terms of its green features, there's radiant heating and cooling in the floor under this uh, pigmented concrete. Uh, we'll keep the space cooler in winter and warmer in summer because summer, visitors would come in dressed appropriately. And then in the collar seasons, there's a ventilation system that will bring cool air in on hot days in March and October, for example. So this space uh, has a number of green features in terms of recycled material. The floor is uh, ground up tires. So you've got some black walls and white walls, uh, and uh, that's, uh, that's a good thing. The hold of this space allows for maximum light to come into the building. When there's enough natural light, artificial lights go off, energy saved, good thing. I had mentioned to you earlier in our tour that the uh, floor is filled with tubes. What you're looking at here are the tubes coming to what's called a manifold, the tubes of the red objects that you see. And the manifold is a place where you can control each zone that the tubes cover. Uh, this is a black walnut uh, wood wall, and it is actually uh, made from a black walnut tree that was on the site. So what about this bathroom is, is a green element? This is uh, metal shavings that's been uh, put into a, an epoxy sort of uh, aggregate binder, and uh, actually quite beautiful, I think. Well, one of the most exciting features is the green roof. Can you tell us about uh, how you design that? Certainly. And you're quite right, uh, Julie, the green roof is a major uh, feature of uh, the lead aspect of the building. We're standing now on a deck that would be available to the public whenever the building's open. Off to our left here, there's an array of photovoltaic panels. Uh, what they do is produce electricity from the sun, uh, and it's actually wired back into the building. It's producing about 5% of the electricity for our building for a savings of about $20,000 a year. So what does LEED certification mean for this organization? It says that the Garden is serious about sustainability uh, and want to take a leadership role and an educational role of the public in understanding everything that has to do with, with sustainability and preserving plants uh, of, of the earth. Great. Thanks for talking to us, Bill. I appreciate it. My pleasure. You're welcome.